Awesome Motorsport 4 today we'll continue on Let's Play. This is episode 68. In today's episode we are taking a look at the Mustang versus Camaro challenge. For that we need either a Camaro or a Mustang. We're going for a Mustang. Can you not tell? Uh, and the car we're using today is the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500. Because it's a Mustang and it was free, so... Is that you the 5.4 or the 5.8? Um, it's whatever this one is. I'll just leave it in the blue. Oh, I it's first blue. It I got, um, the American 2010, Ford. whatever that is. <laughs> no, Mustang vs Camaro Challenge. Expect intense competition in this race between rivals. What a generic fucking... Road Atlanta Club Circuit. Five races in this one. Wow. I've just realised what car's going to be in episode 69. Mm. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> oh boy. It's the perfect car for episode 69, that's all I'm going to say. Oh. What, what episode are we on now? 68. So the next one. You can turn... Oh, it's my birthday now. Happy birthday, me. Yay. Happy birthday. I got shoes. Wow. Because I couldn't be asked to buy them myself. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little tweet. You got shoehorned into your birthday. Yeah, there you go. No, I'm, um, I'm, I'm like the most like fucking. I only owned one pair of shoes for like most of my life, and I'm begrudgingly now have to have two pairs because of work. <laughs> mm. But I buy like the same set of shoes like every year or like every two years, so, and like every. I bought the same set of shoes every two years. I think I bought the last pair. Other than that, I usually just get my parents like buy me them because like it works as a birthday present, and I'm unoriginal and can't think of anything else. Yeah. So they just think, oh, what does Emil need? Oh, just get him those fucking shoes again. Uh. Perfect. Yeah. I I've done that the past few years as well. I wear those like um. You ever seen like Easy E and those like uh, blue and white Adidas that he wore? Like, oh. The 80s style ones. Yeah. Wait. What, if you got a name for him? No, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't wear those because those are made of suede and those re require like effort to take care of. I think I, like, oh. my, I think I know what you're on about and I think I might wear the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. I oh. buy gazelles. They're like trainer things. Oh, yeah. I've been buying those the past like few years and they're pretty comfy. And they have like memory foam in the bottom. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've bought gazelles. God, how long have I had gazelles for? Gazelle. The, uh, the funny thing with gazelles is you can get away with them because, like, even AK is like, yeah, that's actually quite a good shoe. And, like, AK <laughs> oh, knows God. I'm like the least. AK is actually like a fucking metrosexual, so it works. Yeah, I like AK. <laughs> he he looks like a chav. Oh, he's great. Actually, he looks more like a Slav because I saw that one picture of him one time, and <laughs> someone was like, "Why are you posting random pictures of Slavs?" And someone was like, "That's AK." It's amazing as well because he you, you wouldn't think he. You wouldn't think it. You'd think he'd be like the typical Scotsman, i.e., white and ginger, but. He <laughs> yeah, actually I isn't. expected him to look like fucking Willy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, my shoes just say Neo Label. Neo Label? Uh, I don't know what the fuck that means, but they're comfy and they look good, and I've been wearing them for a while. But I need new ones because these have like a small hole on the side, and that'll just get bigger. I think I've bought gazelles since I was like 15 or 16 or something, so. <laughs> you think that's nice. bad? I, I wear steel toe boots to work and the bottoms are literally falling out of them. Oh. <laughs> and I wore them for like, like that for like three months. Oh, that made you blow up people with an ice cream van. Yeah, that's true. And then that got moved to El Burro. Yeah. I think yeah, it was El my boots. Uh, yeah. My, um, I had Converse boots actually. I got them oh, at like yeah. Burlington. Um, they're actually, they were really good for driving because they're really narrow and tall. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, cool, like in heel toe, like the initial D people, but no, it doesn't fucking matter. It's just because I did How would automatic... you ever need to heel toe in an automatic cobalt? Exactly. <laughs> so it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what am I going to heel toe with the fucking ah, dead heel pedal? Automatic, automatic cobalt. Yeah, well, no, he... I don't have It's not mine, it's my mom's, which makes it even sadder. <laughs> Poor bastard. Yeah. yeah but yeah. Cobalt. Yeah. But uh, the boot, like, um, where the uh, the seam was meeting towards, like, the front on the right boot was, like, uh, splitting a bit, and it needed some, like, either glue or just replacement boots. And um, I had to go out and shovel a few times in the winter, and I'm like, why is my, why is my like, right foot so cold? And I looked in there, and I was like, oh, there's snow getting in there. And it was, like, 10 degrees outside oh, Fahrenheit. So, uh, 
You're lucky you didn't <laughs> lose your fucking foot in New York. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Because it gets I have cold. New now. Yeah. yeah. Like, because my mother's always like, oh yeah, we should go there in like winter or something. I'm like, it, it, really? No. No. No, not go there uh, during fall. It's pretty in fall. Winter's pain. <laughs> I think she wants to do like New Year's there or something because they have big celebrations or whatever. It's like, oh yeah. yeah. Whatever. Laguna Seca. Holy shit! It's a track that isn't like the last three tracks that we've seen over and over again. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. I don't know. I get the allure of New York City. Um, it's pretty. It's you know, oh, it's snowy and New York City does get a lot less snowy than like the rest of like upstate. Um, but it it's still pretty cold. I don't know. It's snowy and like. It's crowded, and they, some they, sometimes they don't plow the roads as good as they should, and it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I didn't lose my feet, though. Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. Fucking Eugene. Or the Dales. Oh, yeah, Portland. <laughs> I think it's the Dales, actually, they call it. I Do think it's Fred Dales. I'll go to Arkansas so I can pronounce it Arkansas and get fined a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, fucking. God, you remind me of fucking Newton, though. Mm -hmm. He was doing, like, Q&As on, um, like. This, like, video he produced on, like, um. Temple OS. And this guy posted a comment, like, you know, people get pretty angry when you call it, uh. Nevada. It, people say Nevada. Mm. And he was like, "Yeah, okay, that's cool." But uh, by the way, if you're from, if you say it's not Oregon, it's Oregon. <laughs> yeah. And it's like yeah, because apparently he's from like that. Area. Also, hell yeah, blackbirds on. <laughs> or alter alternatively, I'll just go to West Yorkshire and drive a Fiesta. Oh, I'm so <laughs> happy you say it that way. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? I. What are you gonna say? Like Yorkshire? <laughs> it's so funny because I've never heard any other Americans actually say it like that. I heard Keemstar you? say it that way once in a in my life. <laughs> He's not a human. <laughs> He's a gnome. Go fucking hell! <laughs> that really ruined his career, didn't it? Mind you, he yeah, plays into it now. Yeah. He has like a little gnome on his desk, I think, or something. Um, oh, I okay, watched, that's funny. I watched drama like in years because he started trying to appeal to twelve-year-olds. So. I just gave yeah, up. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could sit down and watch a, a gnome say, Hey guys, let's get right into the news! And not want to kill myself. Yeah. I, I can't. Be broken. I like how this, uh, area, how American truck is so realistic. They, the other drivers flash a light cause to say that your high beams are on. <laughs> oh, really? I don't even, I don't think I have, like, I can't even remember what button high beams are attached to, so I don't have the ability to turn on high beams, even if I wanted that's to. Pretty, that's a cool detail, though. Oh, yeah, I think you get fined for using high beams as well. Uh, yeah, you'll get bitched at. So, let's see, what are their, um... I can't use high beams in the Accord, anyway. Oh, why not? Because it will fucking blind people. Oh, that's a Because it's like fucking... For whatever reason, like, the normal yeah. bulbs are halogens, but they put fucking xenons in the fucking high beams, and it's just like, okay, I'm going to blind you now. Because with my yeah. late 2000s fucking xenons, which are just, like, retarded. <laughs> yeah. I hate xenon headlights. They're the fucking worst. Yeah. They just blind I mean, they you. Work. Yeah. yeah, they work, but like they just blind every fucker. You may as well just drive around with your high beams on. <laughs> yeah. What are some other uh, pronunciations that bother you, though? I know, um, was it, what do you say? Some Americans say, like, Poop Joe or something? Like, Pert Pajo or something? You know, oh, like. Pugeot. Pugeot? Oh, God, I've never I've heard, heard that. Pugeot. I think. I think Rhino said Pugoat before, which. Ew. Yeah. Nah. I usually say it as a Peugeot. I just, I just be a yeah, you see, I think that's the official way to say it, but it doesn't... The thing is, if you've got any form of a remote English accent, it doesn't work. The only people that say it properly are French. Hmm. That's because they can say it really quickly. But for, for all, I don't get the problem with just saying Peugeot, you know what you're about. So. Yeah. And then, um, Renault? What about that? Renault is usually the one Renault. Renault. <laughs> yeah. Renault. Oh, God. Renault. 
Oh, dude, my rainy alt Sonic OC. <laughs> Cleo the Caterpillar. Oh, God. Cleo, <laughs> Cleo the Cockfeeler. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sedona Club Circuit? Fuck. No. No, you don't like Sedona? Oh, I no, don't you like don't. Club Circuit. Uh, it's better than the full circuit, though, isn't it? Um, yeah. But still. Mm. Nee. Yeah. Oh, Citroen as well. I usually say Citroen, and that triggers you a bit, Citroen, doesn't it? Citroen, yeah. That's how they Citroen. say it. Citroen. Oh, Citroen. okay. Citroen, Citroen, Citroen I don't mind too much, because I think there is actually an accent on there, technically. Yeah. I know the O, I think even the O is silent in um, Citroen. Mm. It's some it's sort of like some weird French way of doing that one, but it's as I've said before. If it's a fancy word in English, the key is just to put no effort at all behind your pronunciation. Yeah, just be lazy about it. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like American. Uh, uh, this is a bit of a genuineization, but for the most part, Americans don't do that for words they don't recognize, even though we usually do. Yeah. Like, we'd never say Nevada. We'd say Nevada, which is mm. the easiest way of, you know, because you're putting less emphasis on stuff. It's less effort to say. With Tascaline. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like you Brits, like, put as little effort as possible in, and then <laughs> Americans are like, oh, no, a foreign word. I have to say it very accurately. Pugiot. And it's like, oh, God. Yeah, it, it it's up. almost like the concept of, like, <laughs> silent letters is lost on the Americans, which I never have understood. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't understand about Americans. And I am an American. Yeah. Yeah, and, and about one thing is I don't Scotian. understand a lot of people. I don't yeah. understand a lot about English people. Yeah. Oh, I just said, I'm a real American, and then there's Scotian, who's like an honorary American. No, pretty much. I'm yeah. more American than you are, and I'm not even American. <laughs> In fairness, he's got an F-150 and a four-wheeler. Yeah. And also lives in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, so he can own a four-wheeler. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he owns a truck. Yeah, he lives in, like, fucking Nova Scotia, which is, like, was basically... The the, for owning the four-wheeler because I have a truck to haul it with. Yeah, wow. you, ba you live in Nova Scotia, which, as far as I can work out, is basically Canadian Texas, so... <laughs> no, Canadian Texas is Alberta. Oh, God. I just can't remember which way round that is. Is, is that where Thunder is, or where Thunder used to be? <laughs> Both. Oh, has he moved to... I, I, I know he's got his own place now, I just didn't know where. I didn't ask, because we haven't really yeah, spoken he, in, he like, two months. He was from Alberta, so. and then he moved to Hamilton, then he moved out back out to Alberta. Oh, is he back in the east now? East. <laughs> east. East. Interesting. He's in the east. I didn't realise he moved back cross-country again. Yeah, when he was done complaining about his fucking roommates, he moved back out to Alberta. No, I, no, he didn't have roommates in Hamilton. He had that was when he was with his daddy. When he was with his, because he was on his dad's side, and then he moved to where his mum was, which I think no, was west. No, he lived in the apartment with roommates. He li lived with his dad. Then he complained about his dad, and moved to an apartment with roommates. Yeah, but he didn't. He only moved across like the town, I think, or something. He didn't actually like move state then. He's moved state since then because he moved in with his mother for a bit. And he was waiting for funding to come through for his own apartment. He's got his own apartment now, yeah, I just don't know if he's... Man. I thought he got his own apartment, though. I care. I think that's what he said on stream. I mean, he's streaming again, which obviously means he's done something. Ah, I'd have to ask him, but... I haven't really spoke to him in, like, months, so I can't really... But his mother lives out in Alberta. Yeah, I know that much. Yeah, because I remember him moaning about living east, so he moved to the west, and apparently that didn't really go much better, so... Yeah, because his fucking... Because he was complaining about his fucking roommates and dad and all that. Yeah. What, was his roommate's dad fucking all his bitches? No, it wasn't his oh, roommate's no, dad, was... it was his dad and... His... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, what? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> See, bring yeah, short circuit. He was living in Hamilton for, like, the longest time with his dad, I think. Like, since I since I first came in and he moved to an apartment with 
three roommates, which he disliked very much. Yeah, and then he moved with his mother. Then he went out to Alberta and lived with his mother for a while, and I guess he got his own apartment. I think. I, guess. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, it's Goshen. Right. Hello. How's the uh, snow been over there? Uh, five feet, I guess. Oh Jesus, really? <laughs> I don't know. We got like thirty centimeters. Convert that to uh, what you want. Oh, that I I need like fake measurements. Thirty centimeters is as big as a ruler, and I think the standard rule is twelve inch. All right. Yeah, it snowed quite a bit where I live, but it wasn't... I think it was, like, no more than maybe, like, eight inches. It was not too bad. Have you the UK any, doesn't um, know what, what snow is. It was, up, it, it was up to my truck's bumper, I'll tell you that much. Oh, fuck. It was... Um, have you seen any uh, snow uh, snowmobiles out yet? I don't see snowmobiles, but there has been... They, they've been out. Oh, okay. I remember in 2014 when we had a big fucking, like, four month snowstorm, there was a person that just drove his fucking snowmobile everywhere. Hell yeah. Actually, I say we don't, we, we don't get snow until like April nowadays, so. Until April? Yeah. Um, have, it, it, have you it ever gets... considered the fact your climate might be broken? Yeah, it's like 14 degrees at the moment. <laughs> uh, okay. That's center grade as well, so. Yeah, that that's it's strange. quite warm. <laughs> yeah. Global warming's great in this country. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. Oh no, it'd be ace. It, I've read like if it increases one degree across the world, we get basically like what the French have, which is like nice climate and good wine growing and shit like that. So All we'd right. be fine. It's just when it gets like two or three center uh, center grade. Uh, Warmer, that's when we start sinking, which is a bit of an issue. Mm. Only a minor issue, like, but it's a bit of you know, <laughs> yeah. inconvenience. Just prop the country up on stilts. Yeah. We don't really have, like, the, the problem with England is we don't have, like, a country no one cares about. Like, Bulgaria or something to take up, like, most of the slack. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we can just give all the water to the Scottish and watch them drown, you know what I mean? <laughs> Although they'd probably be the first to get it, like, but still. I mean, there's an alternative if you, can, if you, if if uh, Britain drowns, you can go live in a bit Bulgaria. I want to go live anywhere but here, but I don't have any form of skill set that makes me wantable by any form of country. So it's a bit unfortunate. I would Donald genuinely like to be anywhere else, but I can't. Why so. do you not like England? Uh, it's kind of boring. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Well, it, at least in like Poland and stuff, interesting shit happens. <laughs> like cold. <laughs> what? Wow, how interesting! Snow. And, like personalities, and not everyone looks like they've got a fucking rabbit on their head. <laughs> Which is like the new hairstyle, so... Mm. So they just all look like, um... I can, like, lose some face. of the stupid. <laughs> um, what's that guy's yeah. name? A drifter guy who's like, I don't like Horizon because no Toyota or whatever. What's his fucking name? Drifter? Yeah. He's a fucking COD YouTuber. <laughs> no, no, not... He's like the COD YouTuber that has, like, a million and one health issues each week. He's like, hey, man... No. I really wish I could produce in depth this week, but like my kidneys have failed. No, Black so Panther I can't like give you eleven out. minutes of stats oh, on a Call of Duty gun. Is no, that Black what Drifter Panther? Is up to now? Huh? Yeah. Is that what Drifter is up to now? Dying. Yeah. Oh, COD Drifter's on about dying. Yeah. No, I meant Black Panther though. His his hair because it's like a mop on his. Head. Oh fucking! He's already just a little. Look. He's he's a weird looking fucker. He is though. So. Yeah. Oh, always has been. His girlfriend's weird looking. Is she like, like 12? I have just passed five. She one. isn't actually 12. We need to point that out for the sake of clarification. However, she does look 12. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, and there was also that weird Tomcat expose at one point as well. So, mm. Oh, wow. Spicy. Actually, no, was it Tomcat? 
I can't remember. It was someone. Dr. Tom, I think, maybe. AR-12? No, Dr. Tom guy, that was it. Oh. There was like I, some... I still remember him. Uh, I'll... That's an off-stream thing, because I don't know how much of that actually got resolved and how much of it didn't. <laughs> and I don't really want to okay. say anything that could lead me to getting, like, full suited. Oh, okay. Well, one thing I do remember... I, I used to watch AR-12 way back when I was... Yeah, like, yeah, younger. back in the Horizon 2 days. Yeah. No, before that. Like, yeah, I, I, four. But yeah, I, I remember watching him in Falls of Four because he was like tolerable. Yeah, yeah, I, I do remember though one video that made me kind of go, mm, maybe this guy's a bit dumb. Uh, he mm. had a, I forget because you, you'll probably correct me because it's like it's technically not an R thirty six, but he had like a the second generation of like all wheel drive fast golf. R thirty two. Not the R thirty two. It was not R thirty two. Is it just called like a second gen R thirty two? Yeah, yeah, they made okay. two well, generations of the R thirty two. Okay, he had that. And, um, yeah, GFG, I remember that. Yeah, and he drove it, and he was like, he did a video, he was like, oh, story time, blah, 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 whatever. And he said something, because he lives in, like, Canada, I think. Yes. And he was all, all like, oh, it snows. Is a Canada. Yeah. He said, like, oh, it snows a lot where I live. I'm, I'm like, sorry. yeah, Canada does that. And then, like, what did he say? Because <laughs> it's all-wheel drive, right? And it's yeah. it's got fairly low ground clearance because it's like oh it's a performance hatch or whatever. And he mm. kept going on about stuff. And eventually he said like I, I it's really snowy and the snow gets tall, so I have to like sell this to get something else. And I thought well, wait why don't you just like lift it a couple inches, you know? Yeah, but he was weird because like, he bought an R thirty two and he had an Impreza hatchback at like the same time, which I don't really understand why you do that because they're both like, yeah. the same issue. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, oh, it doesn't have enough ground clearance. It's like, just fucking lift it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, he lowered it. Yeah, why? Why? Yeah, exactly. You live in Canada, why do you need to lower your car that much? You have snow. His girlfriend was quite good looking, though. <laughs> I don't remember. Like, she, she wasn't, like, tall? exceptional or anything. But yeah. <laughs> I'd go. I don't know if he's still with her. I doubt it. He looks more like a cunt now, so... <laughs> yeah, he, he does. Bitches love cunts. Yeah, I really don't know why he didn't just like keep the golf and then go. Okay, I'm gonna buy a cheap beater car. Like, I'm gonna go buy like a '94 Toyota pickup and have. Oh, he bought that like, STI to learn manual one as well. He. I'm Which, sorry, don't he bought an STI wrong. to learn manual. Yeah, don't get me wrong, people often overstate the manual thing, like, you're not actually gonna, like, blow a clutch up by, like, yeah. missing a shift every few times. Yeah. What, my fire alarm manual? Yeah. yeah. That thing has torque. Well, kind well, of. Well, no. it, <laughs> it was the fucking six-cylinder version. Oh, God, yeah, it was. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The Challenger has torque. Yeah. <laughs> the Challenger has, like, if it's slightly icy and you launch from a red light, there is a chance it will just go arse backwards. Anyways, <laughs> that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, I'm going to be taking a look at the Pontiac Production Showcase. Join us for that. Until then, farewell.